Today we're going to be doing some seed dissection. So materials you'll need are some something to cover your table. You'll need a napkin or a towel. And the seeds from the seed packet that you received in your grade level envelope. Uh, I've had mine soaking in water for two days. So step one is to reach in and I'm gonna dry off my seeds so I don't get things too wet. Um, we are going to slowly and carefully dissect our seed here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go along the side here. I'm gonna break it up. Oh, there we go. Oh, awesome. This was a really good one. All right, so I've got one part right there. I've got, oh, please stay together, yes. Another part right here. And another part right here, uh, which you gotta be very careful. Uh, if you look closely, I'm not even gonna try to take this off right now. What you see right here is the embryo of the plant. Uh, this embryo uh, has two parts. So I'm not referring to this piece right here. That's something else. But this right here is called the embryo. Uh, the two parts are the plumule, which you'll see right here. Um, if you look really closely, you'll even see the beginning of leaf veins. The plumule is what will eventually become the leaves of the plant. And the word plumule comes from the Latin word pluma, which means small, soft feather. Right here, you see the radical. And the radical is what will become the roots of the plant. R radical comes from the Latin word radix, which literally means root. All right, let's see if I can break off the embryo. <gasps> Oh yes, excellent. Um, so right here we have the embryo with the plumule and the radix. Uh, oh, no, the radix is the Latin term. It's the radical, R-A-D-I-C-L-E, the radical. So all together, that is called the embryo. Right here, we have the testa. The testa is the covering of the seed and which protects it. Testa comes from the Latin word testa, meaning shell, so I'll label that. The testa. Then right here, we have the cotyledons. And the cotyled word cotyledon comes from a Greek word, cotyledon, which means cup-shaped hollow. And this, the job of the cotyledon is to provide the food for the embryo, for the baby plant. So I'll label this. Uh, cotyledon. Cotyledons. Now, if you notice right here, we have two cotyledons from this seed. So this would be, um, this type of seed was a, a lima bean seed. The lima bean seed would become, be a dicotyledon. So here I'll create um, maybe a little bubble surrounding the lima bean seed parts. So this is a dicotyledon, a lima bean B-A-N seed equals a dicotyledon. Now, if you remember what we said about dicotyledon seeds, when I plant this seed, I know that I will get, every time 
every single time I will get a plant that has reticulate veins, tap roots, and flower parts in multiples of four or five. Now, let's go on to another one of our seeds. I'm gonna reach in and get this. Let's see how this goes. All right, these seeds, for some reason, I don't know if yours look like this, but they were dyed red. And I know exactly what this is. This is the seed of a corn plant. So I'm gonna just start off by writing that corn. Corn seed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one, take my nails are gonna help, but um, if you pair of scissors maybe, or tweezers if you have them, I'm gonna break up. See how this works here. All right, not as smooth as the other one, but there it is. There it's working. Um, not as nice as our other one. Oh, there we go. Still, yikes. Not as smooth of a dissection here. Uh, but you'll see right here, um, there, there's one part of the embryo of the plant. That right there is our, uh, our uh, plumule. And then right here, it's a little hard to see. Uh, that's our radical. So those two pieces together create, this is the embryo uh, with the radical. And then the plumule. You see the outside coating of this one did not come off as nicely as the other one, but you can tell um, yeah, it's kind of peeling off. Um, so it's not in its entirety, but I did my best. This is the testa from the corn seed, the testa or the leaf covering. And then this right here is, um, well, the testa is still attached to most of it, but this is the cotyledon. Now you'll notice that the corn seed only has one cotyledon. So this would be a monocotyledon. So I'll label that here. T-Y-L-E-D-O-N-S, monocotyledons. corn seed embryo. I did what I could on the corn plant. Uh, there is another plant or a seed in here. It's much smaller. I think it's a radish seed actually. Um, good luck trying to dissect that one because it's super small. Um, your best bet on trying to figure out what kind of seed it is, monocotyledon or dicotyledon, uh, it's gonna, probably going to be for the, uh, oh, come on, I'm oh, sorry, you can't see. Um, I'm trying to dig out the radish seed here. There it is. Your best bet uh, for determining whether or not this one is a mono or dicotyledon is going to be probably to plant this one. Because uh, we know if we have a uh, monocotyledon, we will, our plant will have reticulate vein, or no, sorry, uh, parallel veins with fasciculate roots and power flower parts in multiples of three, but our dicotyledons will be um, flowers in pairs of four or five, tap roots and reticulate veins. I hope you enjoyed some seed dissection today.